Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave, and I'm back with more reactions with an X. This time doing some more Tokyo Revengers, and I'm happy to say we're on episode 16, and things are getting a little more interesting, the story's getting deeper, we have some more characters, some more interactions, right, with the past, and motivations, so I'm excited to see what's going on with Baji and this other guy, whose name I already forgot, but the other Secret Six founding member of Toman, and Let's see what all happens now, because we still have no idea what's going to happen to Takamichi in this situation. It's not looking good. But hopefully he, you know, makes his way out and figures out something to do, because, yeah, look, it's looking like it's going to get pretty interesting. Yeah. Oh, as always, remember to support the original content creator, because without them, we don't get more of this great stuff. You can do that on Crunchyroll. Uh, I think they have a Shonen Jump manga and a bunch of other stuff, so... I do like the music, though. I've always... Oh, wait. This is a... Yeah, this is a founding backup. Yeah, there we go. Slightly chilly day. There we go. I was like, what? I did... It's weird, because originally they didn't do that kind of stuff for the first, like, seven or eight episodes. There was no, like, r recap. Oh, man, look, his hair's shorter. I think he's... this is younger. Yep. We're at the beach. Yep. Kazutora, that's his name. Flag bear, head guard. He doesn't have a good bike yet, I'm guessing. They are all young. Kicked in the face. I guess he got a new bike. Yeah, that's not what you say when you ride off. Which is so funny because there's literally no difference between the two of them. I'm stupid, so I don't care what we do. He must be really good at rock, paper, scissors. Let me guess, Kazutora? No, it was that. No, it was Baji. I'm not gonna lie, I'd be pretty pissy too. Oh, when they're all... Yeah, if you're wearing colors, you probably shouldn't be walking alone most of the time. Which is so funny to me. You know how fucking impossible it is to restrain someone like that? Wow, really? I mean, it's all nice to say. Mikey's on his way because he wasn't at the beach. kick their bikes really I guess so you just broke my bike 
uh, for his friend. I thought he was gonna make him make up the. Ooh, that was a good sound effect, man. That was a good fucking one. Oh my god, that was a nice sound effect. His voice is so deep when he's so small. He's not wrong. They're gonna get into some fucked shit, aren't they? I'm sure the tank's not empty. Well, I don't know how Japan's auto registration system works, but I'm assuming it's somewhat similar to ours and that it is not as easy to hide a f stolen car as all that. Like, you can. You can get away with it, but it's, it's not just like grabbing it and running off. You need to get falsified plates or steel plates consistently and hope that you don't get caught. Or try to route around with temps all the time, or all this other stuff, not to mention your registration, license, your stuff, you know. Good thing that the bottom one wasn't locked, huh? Yeah. Yeah, if you guys already busted in, now's the time not to talk about it and to do shit. Yeah, no, I, once you popped the door, there was no turning back, basically. Like I said, I'd, it, one way or the other is my thing. You either need to just, once you decided to go, you go. Because hesitation's bad. Alright, like this, all this? No. Go, clip, rock out. The, the thing that people don't know, like, who don't do stuff like this, don't know is, like, one of the biggest parts is quick. I don't want to be here all night. I don't want to be here longer than I absolutely have to. Uh-oh, yep. Odd butt. Also, despite your... Contrary to belief, you honestly don't want to have a weapon if you can help it when you're robbing. Yeah, but he don't fucking know you. How? He don't know you. He can describe you all he wants. He needs a picture. And the bike. I don't know in Japan, though. Drop it. If you know each other, this is it. No, dummy, no! Yep. That was the one way you could have got it. Probably killed him. You can with one hit of those things. There's the blood. And that's why you don't take a weapon. You're more likely to get into more trouble with a weapon than you are without one. Also, arm, uh, you can be considered for arm. Oh shit! Yeah, it's probably dead. Like I said, big heavy weapon at the side of the head would kill you in one hit. It really can. People in the movies always begin to hit like eight times and shit. Your skull will crack open. This is also why you clear shit with your gang, so you don't hit people close to you. Yeah, absolutely can. That's what happens when you kind of go. Don't 
dumbasses didn't do any research didn't do any fucking amateurs fucking amateurs at the kids now nah, i can't say that we used to rob probably right about at this age middle school no yeah you absolutely did you just care now because you know who it is Sure. Sure, you, you just did it. Totally. You're, just, you're stupid. And young, but stupid. Okay. He fucking broke pretty easily, didn't he? So he's just crazy. They didn't actually do anything. Because you're stupid and young. Why is he siding with him then? I just don't get it. So what are the, where's their, where's, I just don't get this guy's logic. The other guy obviously snapped and he's just fucking crazy. Wow, that was a really quick episode. Did it even have a center where, yeah, I guess it must have somewhere. But I'm trying to figure out Baji's mentality here. What could he possibly be going with this guy? Because he has the info on him and he doesn't want him. But then if you care, then why? It's just weird for me. Like I said, the other guy totally snapped, obviously. He's just fucking stupid. So you can't, can't accept responsibility that he's stupid, right? And yeah, once again, was, you didn't scope the place. You didn't check it out. You didn't run any times, see when they close, see if people stay at the shop and live at the shop. See, like, right? Like, there, there are two types of crimes. Crimes of opportunity and planned crimes. There are no other types. There's those two, or I guess maybe a mixture, but those two, and that is a, right, planned crime. That is a crime where they planned badly to go steal something, as opposed to a crime of opportunity, right, uh, such as I saw something unattended, or someone left their keys in their car and I saw, or, right, these are crimes of opportunity where you're like, well, maybe I'll grab this. And once again, those are almost always the most dangerous crimes you haven't planned it. You haven't taken any... I mean, once again, right? Like, And this is no offense to the many, many intelligent criminals out there, but you don't become a criminal because you're super intelligent, right? That's not how you make money the best way. If you wanted to make money and use your, you know, and be smart, go build Bill Gates or somebody or fucking do what uh, Bezos does or any of the actual richest people alive, you know, are not gangbangers and drug dealers like they get rich and they get pretty rich like but Pablo Escobar was never one of the richest people alive right it, it just wasn't he had a huge income but it was pittance compared to the oil industry compared to the billion trillion dollar industries that run the countries and the worlds today right like you know I can't even think of how much money video games makes nowadays so it it's it's a cool thing, and once again, I I under I I like how they've made it uh, this kind of self weird motivation. So like they don't tarnish Mikey anyway, right? Like because I was like, well, what did Mikey do to get this guy? Like Mikey seems like a pretty good guy most parts. Like so, I think they did a good job. I don't want to sit in Babylon forever. Uh, I think that kind of stuff, chatting about this, should either be left for reviews. Or for talking with people. So if you want to come and chat with us, uh, you can chat in the comments. You can check out our Patreon. 
Uh, you can come to our Discord, which is linked below. As always, remember support the original content creator because without them, we just don't get this amazing content. And uh, you know, if you enjoyed watching with us, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to get updates. And if you really want to see this without all the video cuts and the audio cuts and stuff, check out our Patreon for as low as a dollar a month. You can get early access to these with the full audio and everything. So thank you guys as always, and I'll see you next time on Reactions with the next Tokyo Revengers. Yeah.